Did you know that Mexican Americans who were born in the USA were forcibly removed and deported to Mexico during the Great Depression of 1929? Over 1 million Mexican Americans were illegally deported in what is now known as the Mexican Repatriation. This occurred because large parts of society, as well as then Republican President Herbert Hoover, held anti-Mexican sentiments and felt that the economy would somehow bounce back if it freed up jobs for white Americans. But little did they know that the labor they lost only made the Great Depression worse and prolonged it by 10 years until it finally ended in 1939. The reason for this was due to less essential jobs being done since there were fewer workers to do the labor. Even worse is the fact that over 60% of deported Mexicans were legal citizens of the United States. It wasn't until the election of Democratic President Franklin Delano Roosevelt in the 1930s that this policy was ended. This was truly one of the darkest periods of the Great Depression that few people today know about. Some scholars even classify this event in American history as ethnic cleansing. The most shameful part of all this is that we are the original peoples of the America, but for hundreds of years we have been constantly treated like animals while foreign invaders take advantage of us. In conclusion, this is the reminder why we need to stand our ground as a unified community so as to never allow this to ever occur again.